Okay, so I'm over here at the gift shop for Dinosaur Valley State Park. And the thing that this park is also really well known for are the Sinclair Oil Dino Land dinosaurs. Um, specifically the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Apatosaurus, or at the time, the Brontosaurus. They were sculpted by Louis Paul Jonas. And they were uh, first shown off of the World's Fair in 1964 and 1965. There's a couple of people out here, so we're, uh, you know, steering clear of them. But this is the Brontosaurus. I like calling it the Brontosaurus because it looks like a Brontosaurus. And then here's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, now, these are not the species that made the tracks uh, here at uh, the park itself. They even have the, uh, the differences between Tyrannosaurus an Acrocanthosaurus, um, but yeah, uh, they even have little plaques about the making of them, how they were uh, built uh, under commission by the Sinclair Oil Company. Sinclair was famously uh, used dinosaurs in a lot of their promotional materials and stuff. And yeah, these dinosaurs are really iconic to um, Dinosaur Americana. They're just, uh, they're really beautiful. And uh, this, the sculpture work alone is really impressive. Apparently, the Tyrannosaurus' skull used to open and close. Um, so yeah, these guys have been out here for a long time. And uh, I just wanted to make a little video, uh, kind of giving you guys a little walk around. I'm going to go this way, actually, because the sun is particularly brutal. <laughs> the sun is just starting to set. And of course... <laughs> There's a, like I said, it's, it's a pretty decent place for social distancing. Not many people out here. It, pretty much almost everybody we've even gotten within earshot of has immediately put masks on. Um, yeah, and this guy is uh, just, I mean, obviously there's a little bit of uh, water and weather damage because they've been out here exposed to the elements for so long. But uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, there were nine Sinclair dinosaurs. Uh, these are the two most famous ones. I don't know where the others are off the top of my head, but I do know that the Ankylosaurus was the one that quote unquote fell off the back of the truck that they kind of lost track of over the years. As you'll see, there's a little bit of water damage there. Again, these guys are just exposed the elements constantly, so they have to be repainted every few years, I'm sure. It has an upsettingly short tail for a Brontosaurus. Uh, apparently, Brontosaurus is back. I still need to look into that. I think I mentioned that every couple of weeks on a, on my on my YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, it's a it really is. A, oh God, there's that sun. Um, these are just such beautiful sculptures. They're just these were really the image of the of the dinosaurs for the longest time. But the Ankylosaurus, that's what I was saying. The Ankylosaurus wound up at the Sugarland Natural History Museum in Houston, Texas. So three of these dinosaurs wound up in Texas. You can see Rexy's missing a couple of teeth. It's just again just wear and tear. But uh yeah, they're looking good. There's not a whole lot of people out here. People are maintaining their distances and it's a very safe place to uh, come look at dinosaurs and look at dinosaur tracks. So stay safe out there, guys. Uh, you know, vaccine just got approved. So everybody just hang tight for a little while longer. <laughs> These kids are having a good time. I guess if you're going to do something fun and educational and also socially distance, going to a dinosaur park is a good thing to do the kids because so cute. Alrighty. Uh, Y'all be safe. Bye.